Well, today I want to talk about anxiety, stress, worry. You know, we all go through stress. In fact, this is one of the greatest disease of the century and it is going on for a very long time. And we all encounter stress in our life. You know, things comes in our way, life just throws things at us and we just keep thinking about the problem over and over again without any solution. You go to bed, you're thinking about it. You're having a cup of tea, you're thinking about it. And it affects every area of our lives. So let us see into the Bible what it says about anxiety and what is the solution for anxiety. If you read in Proverbs chapter 12 verses 25, it says anxiety in a man's heart weighs him down, but a good word makes him glad. You know, here the scripture tells us that anxiety in a man's heart weighs him down. That means it makes his life heavy. You know, it just pulls him down. Life becomes hard, affecting every area of your life. You know, when you're stressed out, it affects us physically mentally, emotionally. You don't, you don't feel like enjoying life. You don't feel like doing things. But do you know that for every problem, there is a solution. When there is a problem, God offers solution. And it is never God's plan for each one of us to live a life that is stressed out. And the solution in the scripture is, it says, a good word makes him glad. What is the source of good word for us besides the Bible, besides God's word? You know, God's word is the source of good word. That's why when we are going through stress, when we are going through anxiety, when we are worried about the problem, Instead of going to a phone and calling someone, instead of turning on the TV or looking into the newspaper, we need to take on to the Bible. Turn on to the pages and read because as you read the word of God, it's going to comfort us. It's going to give us direction. If you are confused, it's going to direct our path. It's going to heal us because the word of God has the power to do so. You know, if you look into the life of Elijah in 1 Kings chapter 19, what happens? Jezebel sends a messenger to Elijah saying, tomorrow I'm going to kill you. In 24 hours, you, you are going to be dead. And Elijah runs for his life. He's depressed, sitting under the tree and thinking that he wants to die. Nothing was comforting him. You know, he just lost sight of everything because that thought was worrying him that Jezebel is going to kill him. You know, and he left the ministry, he left his destiny, he left his potential and he was thinking of suicide. But what happened? God spoke to him. He felt the presence of God and God told him, go back to work, get back to work. That word changed everything. That one word from God changed the whole situation in the life of Elijah. And Elijah became normal and he went back to work. That's the power of the word of God. I want to encourage all the viewers. Yes, we are going to go through stress and worry in our life, but we don't have to live like that. There is a solution, but the choice is ours. We need to turn on to the word of God. Read and study the word of God. Meditate on it. And as you meditate on it, it's going to bring healing. It's going to set you free from your worry and anxiety. Amen. God bless you.